Hi everyone, welcome back to Diet Rocks. It's Tracy here and this is an Open With Me. So if you're not familiar with my Open With Me, it's from time to time I'll have a book or a magazine that I'll share with you um, and we'll have a look and see if it's if, how what it's like, if it's worth buying and everything else. So um, I usually do these on my other channels, but I have done a few on here, different different swimming magazines and um, recipe books but this one is called simple keto meals and it's a future passion series 54 low carb high fat recipes lose weight the keto way we've got one pot meals family dinners and quick suppers now this is issue number seven and it is 6.99 so that's not too bad a price um What's it say on the back? Simple keto meals, change your lifestyle today with expert advice, top tips, 54 delicious low carb, high fat recipes, and easy to track your carb intake. Lose weight, feel great. Okay, let's have a little looky then and see if it's a decent mag, if it's worth the money and uh, if it's got some really yummy recipes in or just a load of adverts. So, um, introduction to keto is page six, recipes page 18. So we've got quite a lot of chat before we get into it. So I guess, you know, if you're new to it, then you might want all of that kind of low down. What is the keto diet and sort of how to do it, what it is, what is ketosis and all that stuff. But I do believe that if you're actually at the stage where you're buying a recipe book to um, to do this diet, you probably know all that already. But I guess they just feel like they need to impart the knowledge of how to get started and the, the, the sort of medical stuff behind it and, and everything else. So now we'll skip to the recipes. And um, what do we got? We've got quite a lot then. Let's uh, have a look and see uh, if they are... Yummy. We've got broccoli and bacon frittata. And that does have a bit of olive oil. Uh, Parmesan cheese, that's what it's got. I can't have dairy. So unfortunately, I would probably have to make that for my partner. There's probably a lot of things that because of my dietary requirements, I can't have um, uh, vegan ones. They're not great. And some of them are higher in carbs, so they're just a no-no. So a chicken BLT and big bowl salad. So those people who kind of um, are more into the old school low carbon, like Atkins, will probably have to sort of more limit the amount of leafy veg that you have. But that was always was it two and a half cups or something. One pan chicken and chorizo. That looks nice. It looks like it's got some olives in it. And they just got olives. Can't really see them. But yeah, there they are. A handful of olives, which are optional. I like olives personally, but my other half doesn't. Courgette fritters with poached eggs. That sounds nice. Fish on papillote. I don't know what that means. A delicate way of cooking fish allows the flavour to really penetrate and saves on the washing up. Oh, I see. Papillot is probably just brown paper then. There I was thinking <laughs> it was something kind of I'd have to master. But no, it's just two sheets of non-stick baking paper. Huh. Fennel mimosa. I'm not sure that there's a lot of, there's a lot of fennel in these books I've noticed so far. I've only got a few pages in. French Moumonier. Ma Marinier. I like mussels, but I don't like them warm. I like them cold. Roast veg salad jar. Souffléed goat's cheese and chive omelette. There's an awful lot of cheese in these books, I've noticed. It's not always a good thing for me. I rue the day when I ever became intolerant to cheese and dairy in, as a whole. Spanish roast chicken thighs. They sound nice. Fragrant chicken curry. Now I always make a curry anyway. 
Um, I like my dress, so I tend to make my dresses. And I do them uh, low carb. Or if I'm doing any other kind of diet, I make them accordingly. But um, yeah, I do like a curry. Duck and mushroom stir fry with cognac noodles. Now, if you've not had cognac noodles before, um, that's just a, a short name for something that's quite a long named plant. And they are very, very chewy. That's the only thing I don't like about them. I did her at one point I did the five two diet along with my low carbon and I had made a big stir fry every, every day I did the um the fast I made a big stir fry with it and uh if I didn't I would just do uh chicken breasts but and and vegetables. But they were very, very chewy. Now these look quite chunky, I have to say. The ones I used to get were very, very thin, but um I don't know if they're still as chewy or not not had any of the noodles in the supermarket i find i can get hold of the cognac kind of rice and i can get hold of cauliflower rice but they don't really do those kind of noodles for some reason i wish they would grilled tuna with spinach and pea mash now i'm not really um sure peas are part of my low carb I've always been told not to eat peas, corn, carrots um, on induction. And I know that you can start introducing them as you go further in. But peas were quite high in carb. So I've never really had peas. Um, prosciutto wrap chicken with fennel and peppers. A lot of fennel. I've never cooked with fennel. Thai beef salad. My salad is not a recipe, it's garnish. <laughs> I'm a salad dodger, I'm sorry. Pan-fried lemony lamb. You always tell a salad dodger, can't you? It's like, that's not a recipe, it's a garnish. Curried chicken skewers. Sounds nice. Warm winter duck salad. What's with all the salad? Especially word winter. Don't really go with the word salad. Herbie pea and feta wraps. Again, peas. Never been part of my keto plan. Roast chicken, cauliflower and cabbage slaw. Again, another salad. Charred broccoli and burrata salad. They love the word salad, don't they? What else have we got? Cod, chorizo and pan beans. And sorry, butter beans, one pan. Butter beans? Are they low carb? I don't believe they are. You wouldn't be able to have that until you're way far into the diet and you were introducing quite high carby stuff. Lamb and feta salad. Again. Clams with ginger and garlic. Speedy beef bourguignon. Now that does look nice, I must admit. And I'd be interested to make that. Satay cashew chicken curry nuts and legumes, cauliflower steaks with anchovies and lemon butter, veggie considering, place in hazelnut brown butter with samphire. Now I quite like samphire. Halloumi avocado and watercress salad. God, chicken salad. What is it with this book and the salad? <laughs> Meaty pizza with cauliflower crust. Now I have done that before. Can't do it anymore though. Can't have the cheese. Chicken and avocado, Caesar. Yes, you guessed it. Salad. Oh, look. Aubergine, Parmigiana, salad. I call it the salad book. Avocado, grapefruit and tofu, salad. Grapefruit. Keto. No. Baked mozzarella with prosciutto. And so far, not impressed, as you might actually uh, be able to gather. Squash and beetroot tortilla. Now, as far as I'm aware, squash was a bit high as well in the carbs. Thyme roasted cauliflower with cheese sauce. Thyme whole roasted cauliflower with cheese sauce. Cauliflower cheese. Quick chicken piccata. What's that then? Perfect, quick, tasty meal. So what gives it the, the flavours then? Capers, um, parsley. It's not very you know, full-on flavour. 
courgette, mint and goat cheese, salad, fish and broccoli tray bake, pork roast, uh, stuffed roast pork porchetta. I'm at a funny angle, sorry about that. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I expected more meaty dishes, you know, like that and the beef bourguignon. I expected some meat dishes. Sausage and spinach frittata, that's kind of keto, yeah, I understand. But here we go. Smoked chicken and clementine salad. Again, clementines, not really part of any keto I've ever done. Too much salad. Beef stefado. Now, I've had her, it's nice. I've tried stefado. Chicken breast with quick mushroom sauce. That does sound nice. Coriander chicken. Med style chicken with basil and olives. At least we've got some meat finally. Pesto cod and veggie parcels. Spoke too soon. Ooh, fishy. Pork and cider casserole. Cider. Not really very keto. Pan fried salmon with crispy fried bacon and peas. Again, peas. Char grilled sirloin with rocket and parmesan and lemon. Salad, in other words. Rocket. Just didn't want to say the word, did they? Spanish style squid stew. Wow, look at them little squiddies. My son would love those. Both of them. They used to love them when they were kids. Walk along the road, gnawing away at a squid. Yeah. Most people looking horrified. Vegetable frittata. And the last Scandi salmon salad. Way too many salads in this book and not enough proper keto. Now, I know that keto has changed. There's a new, more modern version of keto. But I always say, if it's not broke, it doesn't need fixing. And keto or low carb Atkins, whatever you want to call it, worked. Doesn't need fixing. So all these peas and salads and squashes and mandarins and clementines, <laughs> all these things are kind of so alien to me at the thought of eating those when I'm on any kind of keto diet. But, you know, it must work for some people. It wouldn't really, I don't think, work for me because um, I don't know. I have to go to the kind of strict type for it to work with me and then when it starts to plateau off I introduce some nuts and some more different varieties of food and it works but I don't think I've got a very high carb threshold whereas some people do um I don't know I've got mixed feelings about this book there's a few recipes I like the look of and that I wouldn't mind trying but there's just way too many salads and way too many dodgy ingredients for my liking but what do you think let me know Put it in the um in the comments section. And I'm a bit old school with my keto, I know. I don't even really like calling it that. I'd rather call it just low carb. Or I don't even care if I call it Atkins. You know, I'm that old school. But yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Bit weird, some of them. But um, a couple of good ones. Anyway, thank you for watching. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And uh, I'll see you on the next one then. Bye for now.